Terra, Terra Parvest, and welcome to episode 76 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode is going to be on the Mighty Wagon. Um, why Mighty? Well, I'll be showing you once I've made one why they so earn that name Mighty. Huge leap forwards for us all because the large car is great, it's done its job, it's done really well up till now but it's time to move on to bigger and better things and you don't get no better than the wagon in Worm it is the biggest uh, transport on land that we can make and um, I would have normally left it to a lot later but one I know a lot of people will find it very useful and two some of the structures I want to get to making really we need a wagon in order to demonstrate making them so right okay first of all though let's show you what's needed to make the wagon and the best way I mean I have got the components here in my large cart but I'll bring up the recipe window because I need to show you more than that okay this here what you see in my wagon is the total materials necessary but in the recipe window if I can just show you you actually need two you'll notice two small wheel axles well to make the two small wheel axles you need these components for each axle you will need two wheels and a shaft for each wheel you will need um, three planks and two shafts so to make two axles you will need four wheels okay which you put together to make your small wheel axles so as you can see you need two yokes ten small nails two sheets two small wheel axles 21 planks and four shafts once I've made the wagon I will read from Wormpedia because it gives you the total amount of materials with the axles broken down so the, uh, I've not you know you see 21 planks here but it's actually 33 planks you use anyway when I read Wormpedia I'll give you the full list of total components that you need but this is also them with the axles already made I hope that makes sense anyway so there's good news and bad news the good news is all of these materials that you can see in the wagon I've already shown you how to make in previous episodes so there's really little point in me showing you how to make them again what episodes well the yokes I've already shown you in the small and large carts episode along with uh, nails and numerous episodes the sheets were in the bed episode um, I'm not I don't believe the rowing boat had a sheet but they were in the bed episode the sheet the small wheel axles again were from the small and large carts planks in numerous episodes and shafts in numerous episodes so I've already covered all the materials that's the good news the bad news is let's bring up the skill window you, you we will be using the fine carpentry skill you need a minimum of 40 in uh, fine carpentry as you can see I've only just got there so you will see lots of failures now if your components are lower quality level and you're just on 40 you're gonna see an extreme amount of failures this is where things start to get a lot more difficult as in you will get lots more failures but don't let it dishearten you because like everything in worm it may be difficult and take a long time to make but once you have it wow is it gonna be fun for you as you're gonna see with the wagon you can haul a huge amount still I'm not gonna ruin it because when I've made when we've made the wagon then I will show you what we can fit in the wagon okay so here's a list of all of them materials that I've just listed so to start the wagon we need one plank and one small wheel axle so so let's grab them materials okay so there's the plank and there's a small wheel axle cedar wood is the best wood to make your wagon out of because again it's uh, it's not at all so it's not going to take using damage as you use it it's a wagon which will just sit there so cedar wood is your wood of choice 
Okay, we have the start materials. Let's now add the wagon to the crafting window. There we go. Let's check it says wagon, which it does. Now let's try and create. Yes, you can see 19% chance because I am only just over the threshold for making a wagon. Anyway, let's try. There we go. Well, weren't too many failures with that. Right, let's add that to the crafting window, the unfinished cedarwood wagon. Okay, now it's a case of adding the materials. This won't take long. So let's grab our planks and let's start adding. Yeah, you see, it looks like nothing's happening, but because I'm just failing, it looks like nothing is happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spam the button. I did warn you, this is the beginning of difficult items. Well, I think we made something previously, which was a little tricky, but the wagon is definitely the hardest item I would have shown you how to make so far in this series. You can see by the amount of failures and my stamina. Do you see my stamina just keep... I'm spamming it down in the hope of getting one success. Right, okay, there we go. So that's the planks done. Doesn't take long at all. What I'm going to do is I've got a cedarwood plank. I'm going to leave that to the very last. So let's use do the oaks now. The yokes, that is. Okay, let's add them. Again, I will just spam the continue button. Okay, that's the yolks. Let's do the small nails. You will fail lots and lots and lots. But the end result is so worth it. I just can't get across to you how much fun the wagon is. It's like when you make your first NAR, it's just a huge leap forwards in the game. You can see the trouble I'm having here, it's because the nails are low quality. I guess I should have made higher quality nails, but... I needed to show you what you're going to experience when you're making your wagon as in lots of failures. But the good news is, the items do take damage, but it's only a tiny little bit of damage, so you aren't going to lose the items. Now, if you're playing Worm Online, then there is a chance that you could lose the items, because you'll be failing that much that the uh, item may break eventually. But in Worm Unlimited, of course, it's very quick to skill up, so you'll eventually get the items placed because your skills will be going up quickly. As you can see, look, I'm, in I'm on 44 fine carpentry now. So just by making the wagon, your fine carpentry is going to keep increasing every time you fail. And there's going to be lots of failures, so lots of skill ups. But at least you get an idea now of how difficult this is to make. Okay, let's do the sheets next. Then I think I'm left with all cedar items, so it doesn't matter which one I put on. Oh boy, that is a low quality sheet. 2.91. That wouldn't win no competitions, that's for sure. I hope you're all still enjoying Worm. It is a beautiful, wonderful game. I know you're all going off in your own different directions with how to play, and that's wonderful. Hopefully some more of you will start making videos that uh, we can all watch uh, to show us your settlements and how you're getting on. Right, that's the sheets added. Let's do the shafts. Cool. If you're playing Worm Online, the wagon is going to test your endurance. You are going to spend I don't know, an hour or two hours making the wagon, whereas us in Worm Unlimited, it's more like about 20 minutes, if that. Just to give you some idea of the difference between Worm Unlimited and Worm Online. I'm sorry, by the way, for the big gap 
in the episodes. I know the uh, last episode was four days ago. It's just that I am researching another game at the moment. I'm hoping to start a new series on alongside my Worm series. Just so I can try and um, branch out a little. Because I do realise that I enjoy making tutorial videos a lot. Not Let's Plays, I prefer making the tutorials. So, in order to do that though, I first have to learn how to play a game because it wouldn't make for a good tutorial if I didn't know how to play. <laughs> in fact, if you was telling me what to do and I'm trying, I'm supposed to be showing you. So, here we go. Talking of wagons, I remember the first time I see a wagon was about a year ago in Worm Online. A friend of ours by the name of Feldry, she had crafted a wagon and of course bear in mind in Worm Online to get your fine carpentry skill up is a heck of a job. And she come visiting one day and she was on a wagon and I just thought, what a, I just thought I want, them. I want one of them. But the trouble was, of course, it took me another four months to, in order to get one because that's how difficult it was to uh, get my skill up because up till that point I hadn't actually been doing any fine carpentry so I had a rude awakening with small barrels because I had to make hundreds of them. Wow, that was quick. Right, and here we go. The last plank and then we're going to have ourselves a lovely wagon. So let's drop that in. Drum roll. I know it's not going to be rare, but a drum roll for our beautiful wagon. If we don't keep failing. Come on. I know you want to. There we go. Bang. Right. Let's step away and take a look at this glorious creation. Hopefully there won't be a tree in the way. Oh, there is a tree. There is our beautiful wagon, but you know, do you know what? It doesn't matter that this tree is in the way. Do you know why? Because here is one I made earlier. Let's show you this one. There is the beautiful wagon. Notice that I've got balls. That's only because I've not found any bison. You would optimally want four bison pulling your wagon. Um, because there's a speed bonus with bison pulling wagons. So here we are. There is the beautiful slave wagon. Well, actually, I'm only kidding around. It's really just a wagon, but I like to joke around. Okay, so now that we have our wagon or two, let me read from the Wormpedia to give you all the details that I've not given you whilst making it. So here's the wonderful Wormpedia. Description, first of all. A fairly large wagon designed to be dragged by four animals. Okay, now here's all the components as listed in Wormpedia. Um, first of all, total materials are 14 shafts, 33 planks, 10 small nails, 2 yokes and 2 sheets. The sub-components are 2 small wheel axles, 4 small wheels, 12 planks, 8 shafts and 2 shafts because it's doing it the way it does it in subcomponents. Anyway, you know the total materials. As long as you've got them, you can make it. Okay, next it's got useful capacity quantities. The capacity of a wagon can be adjusted by stacking other containers such as large crates inside. Up to 12 large crates or 20 small crates can be loaded onto a wagon. Remember that small crates are half the size of a large crate, so you're actually um, better off by loading 12 large crates because that would equate to 24 small crates, but you can actually only fit 20 small crates, so you're better off having 12 large crates. Okay, now here's the notes from Wormpedia. A wagon can carry one passenger at the very back of the wagon. I believe that was a new recent update that they made. So you can now have one passenger in your wagon. Okay, next, at least 40 carpentry, 40 fine carpentry is required to create as well as to continue building a wagon. Well, I did show you that and cover that, but there you go. Last piece of wood determines the wood type. Yep, I've shown you that. We've done cedar wood. Wagons can hold 20 small crates or 12 large crates. Well, it's just repeating itself there. 
Bisons have a speed bonus when dragging wagons, making them faster than horses when hitched to a wagon. Now a friend of ours told us that if you tame up four hell horses and attach them, they potentially are the fastest animals you can get pulling your wagon. But I think I'll stick to bisons when I can find them, thank you very much. Okay. Continuing on, can be sh secured with a small or large padlock. 21 mind logic is needed to command it. 23 body strength is needed to use the load cargo function. So if you want to load your crates into the wagon, bear in mind you will need 23 body strength. So if we, if I just show you what it's talking about. So first of all, up here in characteristics, it's telling you that you need 21 mind logic in order to command the wagon. So, you, as you can see, I easily have that. Next, it's telling you that you need a minimum of 23 body strength in order to load wagon, in order to load your crates, your small and large crates, onto the wagon. So, you can see I have that. So, there we are, that's what it's talking about. Plank quality affects creation chance. The quality level of additional components plays a major role in the attached chance, especially at lower fine carpentry skill levels. A bit like with me and all the failures you could see, that's because my fine carpentry was low. At 50 fine carpentry skill, with a 25.97 quality level plank, the creation chance was 9%. At 50 fine carpentry skill with a 45.56 quality level plank, the creation chance was 19%. Well, you noticed that mine was 19% when I first tried. At 40 fine carpentry skill with a 20.76 quality plank, the creation chance was 0%. So, you can't even make it then. With a 31.20 quality level or 32.84 quality level plank and the same skill level, the creation chance was 8%. With a 46.82 quality level plank, the creation chance was 13%. Okay, moving on in the notes. Can't be dragged. Needs animals hitched to it to drive. Requires at least two animals hitched to move. Okay, there's an important note there that we I just mentioned. You have to have a minimum of two animals to move your wagon, okay? If you attach one bison or one bull to your wagon, it will not move. You have to have a minimum of two. Then it will only go at half the speed until you have four animals attached. Then it will go at the proper speed. So just bear that in mind with the animals. Wagons created in the various kingdoms will display the colours specific to each kingdom similar to kingdom banners. That's to you, those of you that are playing in Worm Online or on a private server in adventure mode. Or in, or in fact, yeah, in adventure mode. Okay, moving on. Can be loaded into all ships larger than the small sailing boat with the exception of the cog. Okay, requires the equivalent of approximately 39 large crates of space to be loaded. Yeah, right. Okay, so there we are, there's them details. Now I'm going to give you a list of items that can be loaded into your wagon. Bear in mind, you must first be embarked as a commander in order to be able to load things onto the wagon. Once you have, so let's just do that, you right click on the wagon and then left click embark as commander. Okay, so then what you do, let's find, oh it's typical, someone's moved my crate, that doesn't matter, I'll show you with something else. So once you've embarked as a commander, you can then right click on an item and you will see the load cargo item option. You then left click on load cargo. 
Okay, so that's what that's talking about. So now here is a list of the items you can load into the wagon. You can load a bed, a bulk storage bin, a food storage bin, a forge, an oven, a floor loom, a large barrel, a large crate, small crate, ornate, ornate fountain, a small cart, a statue, a bow rack, a weapon rack, a coffin, Oh, there you go, there's my favourite, so I can bring my coffin with me wherever I go. A bench, a large dining table, an archery target, and an armour stand. And, well, I would say to you now that there's items missing off that list, because I believe you can also put a well on the um, wagon. But, unless they've changed it, of course. Oh, no, it does say, um, see load cargo for exhaustive list. Um... That will suffice for this uh, episode, the list I've given you there. If you want to see an extensive list, then look up Load Cargo in the Wormpedia. Right, so let's have a look then at my wagon and what I've got loaded, just to give you an example of what you can do. Now, bear in mind, okay, that you can have up to 12 large crates, okay? That's if you don't have all these other items which I have got so with all of these items loaded like five small rafts it's only now fitting seven large crates but each large crate remember will fit 300 logs or 300 rock shards or 300 ore 300 items in each large crate no matter what item they are okay now here's where it gets very clever with the wagon you can load up loads of small rafts and in your small rafts you can then put cauldrons you can then in your cauldrons you can put more storage items but let's show you with this one so in your small raft you can put small barrels in your small barrels you can put satchels in your small satchels you can put pots and you can go on and on and on like that you can have backpacks the backpack won't fit in the the barrel but you can also put satchels in your backpacks so in each raft you can have a plethora of containers which then have sub containers and in the end it works out that you can have literally thousands of items in your wagon now you can see the fun that you're gonna have with your wagons now the only thing that I would say negatively about the wagon that's a bit of a nuisance really is when you're with your large cart remember when you looked around you got a 380 degree or 360 degree uh, view with the wagon you can't you can only see 50 percent of the screen that's the only little nuisance with the wagon but you know what i don't care because look at all this storage i've got it's absolutely fantastic so there we are there is the large wagon I hope you've enjoyed this episode on the large wagon. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every single last one of you safe. Have a fantastic day. Goodbye.